What's going on guys, it's Deltray, we are back with some more Final Fantasy Tactics 1.3, less time. We finally got to a map that really put me into the dirt a few times there, yeah, that was definitely a lot harder than some of the ones that we have been seeing. Not to say that this game is not notoriously difficult or anything like that, now I did see at least one person say that, you know, they tried to play this before, and they ended up putting it down, and I gotta be honest, if I haven't said this explicitly in video before, just know that I've been trying to beat this game since high school, like, <laughs> okay, to put that into perspective, I'm 25. <laughs> I'm 25. So I've been trying to beat this hack for at least seven years. Not constantly, obviously, or anything like that, but on and off. So believe me, I understand where people would have a lot of difficulties with this. Especially if you're just coming in from the regular game and you didn't like... And you knew nothing about this, okay? If you just came in from the regular game, you might find that... 1.3 expects a lot out of you. And I definitely remember having that experience myself where I would... I, I think I was probably even a higher level than I am right now by the end of the very first act, right? And I just got my ass kicked over and over and over by Algus and his group because they are just so ridiculous, especially if you aren't already familiar with the mindset of 1.3. See, because I didn't realize this, but uh, the game punishes you very, very heavily for grinding at really just about any point, but especially in the early game. That is the worst possible time that you could grind, and the game doesn't really tell you that, you just kind of have to find that out. The hard way, really, but if you go into Act 1, right, and you're playing it like the regular game, you might find that the enemies have just way better gear than you. Way, way, way better gear than you. And that is why I'm making such a concentrated effort to not, uh, to not let these battles take too long, because if you level up a bunch, right, and then the enemies start getting equipment and gear that you can't even buy yet, then the only way that you can keep pace is by stealing stuff off your enemies, and that can be very tedious. However, there is that 1.3 content version of the game, and that's in the description too. If regular 1.3 seems like it has a lot of cool ideas, but it's too difficult for you, then 1.3 content version is a it's a pretty good middle ground between the two. If you're playing it blind for the first time and you know nothing else about this game, then I would almost go as far as to say that that's the way you want to do it because you have more breathing room, there's more flexibility. You don't have to get everything right on the first time, and if you don't get something right, it's not going to come back to bite you because, let's say for example, I needed some skill that I don't have yet, okay? I could then go into a battle, grind, get that skill, and then proceed on with the same strategy, right? But in this version of 1.3, right, let's say I go into that battle, I grind, I gain experience. Well, now I've just given the enemies better weapons, maybe. Or better armor, or better skills. All because I didn't know in advance what I would need. So just be aware that in the content version of the game, that is not an issue. So again, if it looks cool to you, if you're in, like interested in playing a different take on what I think is honestly a classic game, then maybe that one's for you. No shame in that or anything, because, like I said, this game is brutally difficult in just about every possible way. But, that said, let's go on to our Geodis Trade City. I think we're probably only going to get one today, because the next... Uh, shoot. Well, the next one is not too bad, maybe. It, it really just depends on the AI. Uh, the one after that... Oh my gosh, I have hiccups, I'm so sorry. Uh, the one after that is insanely brutal, <laughs> depending. Because it's like a 7 on 5. Which could get super out of hand if uh, if you don't have a good first turn, basically. There aren't any Lionel troops in Wargelis. But of course, we gotta go save Agrios now, right? Turns out the Cardinal Dracula was a bad guy. And yeah, somebody pointed out his name is literally an anagram for Dracula. So who? Who could have possibly seen it coming that that guy would be evil? Delita, why are you here? Oh, hey, what's up, man? Don't take our information network too lightly. Our. Go back to Egros for your own sake. It's healthier to keep your nose out of certain things, like princesses and stones. Delita, what do you mean? Rescuing the princess only solves one problem. But I can save her from all of them. What do you mean? I don't understand. The best ways don't always lead to the best results. You can't save her no matter what. Remember that. Wait, Delita. What are you trying to do? Lar, Goltana, your brothers, everyone. Haven't noticed they're all swept up in the same flow. I'm just going against it, that's all. I love Delita. Why is Delita so cool? <laughs> I think it really helps that he actually is kind of kick-ass, though. 
as a guest. And yeah, I, th I think that's really what it is, because come on now, he can just one-shot guys with max health if he wanted to. That's, that's pretty cool, let's be honest. I'll see you again, if we live that long. Oh, I will. Don't you worry, Delita. Well, maybe. It is 1.3. Delita. I don't know. We we might get to. We might. I don't know. It really does depend on how we do on this one, though. I want to say that this one is, in fact, easier than the previous map, though. However, you have to do this map and the one that follows. Now, if this next one coming up is not too bad, the one after that is just brutal. Just brutal. So keep that in mind. Before you do Goog, be sure you can do these next three. Well, actually, that's not true. No, no, no. You just need to be able to do Goog and the battle right after that. Because after that point, you can you can grind up potentially if you need to. I actually think I might try and bring Mastadio for this one. We have some people with rubber shoes because, again, it's going to be raining. And I think that some of the priests that are going to appear as enemies on this next map do have potential to have Mjolnir. That really crazy thunder spell. So if I have rubber shoes, they can't even hit me with that. Which is the idea. And if anything, I guess dude would be sitting out again, which is a little bit unfortunate. You can also kind of see that uh, we've sort of funneled experience into mostly Muffin here at this point. The other characters aren't quite as high of a level, which doesn't really matter too, too much. Uh, what is unfortunate, though, is that because I only have one person to do this with, it is going to be driving our level up. Uh, as opposed to, let's say, spreading it out between Muffin and Dude equally. Whereas our, like, our whole team might be level 8 in that case, if we were doing something like that. But instead, uh, Muffin's all the way up here, almost at level 10. Which does matter. I'm not entirely sure. I don't think it's actually a party average level that determines the strength of the enemies. I think it's just the highest level in your party. So all these guys could be level 1, but if Muffin is level 10 and I bring her, then that's going to shoot the enemies way, way, way up in level. So... As much as we want her to be out there kicking ass, we do still have to kind of pay attention to that a little bit. That said, I do want to pick up Short Charge here, finally. You can see we just made that, but I I, I made sure to not end the last battle before we got this, though. Because I don't want to waste propositions on, like, 10 JP, right? That seems like a waste. If there were one thing that I could recommend for anybody who wants to play this game for themselves, I would say understand how the speed thing works. Like, understand how turn order works, basically. Because that is really the key in being able to pull off a lot of things. Especially when it comes to charge times, right? Because those have their own turn order practically all to themselves. So understanding how the speed actually influences actions in battle can only really help you, honestly. There's really no two ways about it. If there was anything to understand, it would probably be that. Like, I couldn't tell you all the different formulas and crap off the top of my head. But I can definitely tell you how speed influences battle. And that was definitely the biggest thing for me in trying to get better at this game. I'm just kind of trying to think if there's anything else we really need to get here. I, I guess we can pick up Earth Slash. I was kind of trying to hold out, maybe get it for free. It is fairly expensive, but I actually think we're going to be getting some Earth Boosting stuff pretty soon. So Earth Slash doesn't sound too bad, and that's going to give Butts a way to actually deal damage. And it also has, uh, I don't want to say AoE necessarily, but it is multi-target, so... If we line up a bunch of characters in a row, we can potentially hit them all at once, which is good. Especially in the case where they, like, revive a character or whatever, maybe they use the Phoenix down. Well, now they're both next to each other, and we can drop one guy and get damage on the other at the same time. Or so goes my theory. So let's go on for- oh, I guess not. <laughs> my bad, more story. Now, which is this one? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, oh yeah, I forgot about this crazy glitch. Ah, I forgot about that. Oh my god. Okay, so... <laughs> this is supposed to be Gaff, Garyon, and not Tita. But for some reason in 1.3, this cutscene is glitched. And, <laughs> and Tita shows up and he's going to talk some mad crap to Dracula. Oh man, I forgot all about that. <laughs> you're, you're using the princess to ba as bait to get the stone back. That's not something a holy man would do. Bastard. No, I'm sorry, bastard. Oh, I would have been fine if you would have let him escape. It was some mistakes, but it was. But I can't take this scene serious. I'm so sorry. There were some mistakes, but it wasn't my fault. Yeah, you can see his model glitching in there. <laughs> Enough, Rudvich. I'll return Ovelia to Dysodarg as promised. It was our intention too. 
But don't you need to get rid of those who know about the kidnapping? Who the hell is this lady? Why are you in here? The thief who stole the stone is with them. You can catch them all by using the princess's bait. Two birds with one stone. Exactly. But what if... <laughs> You're being weak. Careful is more like it. You gotta be careful to survive on a battlefield. Yeah, like you're one to talk, Tita. God. <laughs> I'm sorry. Alright, I'll make sure you're protected. Also, we'll prepare bait just in case. Good, the woman will make perfect bait. I'll get rid of them. I'm more reliable than him. How dare you? Fine, I'll leave it to you. Are, are you serious? Don't let me down, Gafkarion. No problem. I'll even get the stone back. And away Tita goes. I wonder what Delita would think of all of this. Why <laughs> him? I've heard about enough of your shit. You failed enough. Now you must take responsibility. What? And down Rudvich goes. He died as he lived. Like a total bitch. <laughs> yeah, I really like when games include scenes like that. Not that it really did anything, I guess, but it does do a lot to actually show these villains uh, in a more serious light. Because we can actually see just how ruthless they are without necessarily crossing paths with them ourselves. And it also gives us a good idea of what's to come, because now we know... The Gap Garyon is more likely than not about to show up and try to screw us again. Uh, also, we know that Agrios is in hella danger, too. So I, I think it serves multiple purposes here. I think we're going to leave this side to Mastadio and Velanis. Let's bring Mastadio at least one time, right? I feel like I should probably, yeah, I should probably bring the special units at least one time. I don't know how much he's really going to be coming along, but he could be good here. I gave him his gun back. And he does come with arm aim and moss among his bomb still. Lost seal evil, but there's no undead on this map. What is kind of annoying though is he lost that interrupting strike. I can't remember what it's called. It's called like uh stunning yeah, stunning strike. He lost that ability. Which could have been nice here because there's gonna be lots of magic. Oh hey Agiras, what's up? Where are you? Don't try to escape. So here you are. <sighs> Yeah, lots of magic though. Two oracles, two priests. I do like that they tried to make oracles a dangerous enemy. And they, they, they by all means are, make no mistake. Give yourself up. There's one thing about the original game that I kind of wish was improved upon a little bit though. The class variety for enemies is just, it's, it's a little bit weak, I won't lie. In a game with almost 20 different classes to choose from, there should be no excuse for a large majority of the enemies to be knights by the end of the game, you know what I mean? Considering you can literally unlock the knight class on the very first map, you know, it's it, it's a little bit disappointing in that sense, and I do think that 1.3 and the content version both go a very long way to keeping the gameplay more interesting because of the variety. Just my two cents. What? Not not that original tactics is bad. It's a great game, <laughs> except for when you get dialogue like this. I'm protecting Agrias, Geronimo. <laughs> oh man, I do love 90s translations so much. So now we have to save Agrios. If she goes down, much like every other defense map before this, it's an automatic game over. However, there is no alternative here. You just have to protect her. I do think she actually comes with gear and crap though, right? Yeah, she has a coral sword. Oh, that's pretty good. That's like a tear up, if anything. Yeah, so she's alright, but she decided not to spawn with armor, which can happen sometimes. I don't think it always does, like, it, it just depends, but that's very unlucky, I'll say that. A lot of these guys did though as well. They both have attack up though, and that's pretty it's pretty wild. But this guy has talk skill, which is awful. We've already seen how dangerous Mimic Darabon can be. Or something like a threaten. This guy actually has a flail. Now I, th I think that the priest can sometimes spawn with spears. Which is pretty funny. Uh this is a little bit more dangerous though now, isn't it? Magic attack up does influence elemental, by the way. So this is a deadly combination right here. Yin Yang and Tox, oh man, so they can do really accurate attacks and they can also do instant attacks. Oh my god, and MP switch. Now this is annoying. <laughs> MP switch, man. So you can still get this ability, but I think only the guys can get it. It's either a bard skill or a dancer skill. So it's exclusive to one gender at any rate, but it's pretty good. So 
essentially your MP will take the damage in place of your HP, which on physical units is basically a free hit. The damage does not spill over, as I recall, so if if I do, let's say, 200 damage. Let's say I do that 200 damage, right? It's not going to spill over into her HP after she loses that 49 MP worth of health, if that makes sense. So it will always block at least one hit, assuming you have at least one MP. The only real way to get around that is one for the ability to not go off because it is still brave percent so 72 percent chance for this to go through in this case or use the two swords ability because you're getting two separate hits that way uh, i think there might actually be some other multi-hit moves and they would also bypass mp switch in the same way but two swords is the first one that comes to mind for me she also has half mp so she's yeah it's gonna be a while before she's spent although if we hit her once she's gonna lose her mp which I suppose that's why she has talk skill. Uh, oh yeah, here, here's the uh, <laughs> equipped spear guy. Yeah. What's kind of nasty about this is his CT saves, so... Uh, if you hit him, you might accidentally give him a good opportunity to jump you. And yin yang plus steel. So they're really not a whole lot of revival. Of course those guys are priests, so they do have life by default, but... So maybe we just want to shoot on... Well, no, because if it's bad, then... Wait, this guy has no HP. I think I can actually just straight up two-shot him. I think so. Nope, 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 nope. And this guy is somebody with revival, so this is what we want. Yeah, he's going to get CT save, but I'm pretty sure that Volanis comes up next no matter what. Because he should be at 100, yeah. I want to see I can shoot him from here, but just to be safe as possible, we want to go right here. And I can for sure shoot him, and I cannot miss because of concentrate. Yeah, I could have shot him from by Mistadio. But already we dropped that priest, which is good. If he had a holy or something like that, he could instantly kill Agrios. <laughs> Speaking of which, thankfully though, he's really bad and he ran at us instead of away from us. I almost want to say that that's a consideration. Yeah, here's holy. Maybe we can get a crystal here. Normally I have at least somebody with like a holy or some other, some other spell that could really help us out here. Oh, this guy can never get this move because we could just Leviathan. But I actually think that hmm, maybe I don't want to move, actually. Because here's the thing. If I moved in to use the Leviathan, I'll be in range of the knights who could then magic break me. And then I wouldn't be able to get the spell off. But if I just throw the Leviathan outright, I guarantee that kills. There's no way it doesn't. What's your fate? It's got to be pretty high with that kind of damage. Yeah. And we're not bad with you. No, no, no. So Leviathan will drop you. And that is where the short charge is so clutch. I'm fairly confident that Leviathan is, if not as slow as Holy, then it would be even slower than Holy. But because of Short Charge, we can sneak that in. We can sneak that in without having to worry about any of that. I'm almost kind of tempted to throw out my G here because we can get like Mjolnir's going, which would help. I significantly doubt their ability to take me out of there. Oh, I can't stand there? Well, truth be told, truth be told, if I stand right here, the only way for them to really get to me takes them right into range of Leviathan now, doesn't it? Oh, that's a good hit. We'll actually throw out the lightning first, because that will mean that we can just kill him on the next go. Guaranteed. And since we outsped him there, I think there's going to be enough of a difference that we can... Uh, basically, we'll be able to sneak in that Mjolnir, is what I'm trying to do. Now, hmm. Gotta watch our footing a little bit carefully. I don't really want to attack through my G, even if I could. No, I couldn't. But yeah, Earth Slash is doing pretty okay there. That's a neutral hit, so 60 damage on a neutral hit with that kind of range instant cast is pretty good, I think. My G, why are you here? I was going to attack the castle flank to save you, but why are you here? I asked first. The Cardinal secretly plotted with Lark from the start. We tried to escape, but only the princess got caught. I couldn't save her. They're about to execute her. We must hurry. First, we have to get rid of them somehow. I'm working on it. Jeez. Uh, so Agrios is going to... Oh, my God. Why? Come towards me, Agrios. It hits dead. Damn. You can see she's a real winner. 
Uh, I don't know, though, that they'll even attack her, because technically, as of right now, the game thinks she's dead. Oh, no, they, they'll magic ruin her, I guess. Now, I forget if sword skills actually cost MP in the original game. I know for a fact that they could never miss. They had innate concentrate applied to them. Uh, in this game, they both cost MP and can miss. In 1.3, that is. Yeah, they're not attacking her, like, damage-wise, because the game thinks she's dead. And if not for this interruption on that Mjolnir, or no, the, the priest is casting a holy, excuse me. But had we not interrupted that holy, she would be dead, which is why they're not trying to deal damage. Here comes a steel heart, probably. No, petrify. Ooh, that's kind of scary. I don't have any way to remove that. I don't have any way at all. No, I suppose they will just attack her, but that's just as well. Uh, assuming we can get over there in time. Now, of course, if we miss this Leviathan on the priest. Wait, we can't. He was charging. Yeah. Again, charging spells does reduce your evade to zero. That doesn't necessarily mean you'll automatically hit status, though, or anything. It just means that... It means that your magic evade is null and void, basically. So, a little wasteful. We only got the one guy there, but... Uh, <laughs> if not for that, Agriots would be dead. Needless to say. And I would much rather do that than have... Oh, no. So, now Velonis got a 1v1, this girl. Has to. Or... No, 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 that's bad, I guess. It is. It, it was, wasn't it? Leo de Torres. Yeah, it is. You know, he might actually have soft. I... He does. Yes, yeah, so we're bringing Mastadio back then in that case. I think that being petrified actually freezes your CT. The same way that being stopped does. So now Volanis and Mastadio are actually staggered here a bit. That may or may not be a good thing. I don't know. It's just going to depend. Oh, here's a fun move we can make, I think. I should still get a... Yes, Butts is coming next. Oh, no. That's unfortunate. What I wanted to do... Oh, man. That would have been so sweet. I wanted to charge Leviathan onto my G and then run in. But he's just a little bit too slow. Oh, oh man. That would have been the play. That would have been the play. How close could we have gotten him? Oh, we could have killed them all. We, we would have killed them all, dude. But alas, uh, and obviously we can't charge it on butts because we don't have the MP just yet. If nothing else, though, Agria should actually come to me now because she is disabled. So that's what I'm banking on here. Yeah, honestly, uh, though, Belanis and Mastadio can solo that side of the map, I want to say. Now, can we sneak in this meal near this time? We should. Yeah, we can. Uh, who's Montana? Who the hell? You. You're Montana. But, Agrios, the genius that she is. Okay, that sounded sarcastic, but this is actually a really good move. Uh, she blocked him in. So as long as I target somebody from at least that spot... Basically, just out of range to get magic broken. Uh, we can take somebody out here now. Do we want to go for the Oracle or the Knight? I want to say the or Oh, no, no. She has an MP switch, so we should go for the Knight. They both have talk skill regardless, so that's they're equally dangerous in my mind. So this should be the spot Mjolnir plus the raid boost should carry us. Yeah. There we are. And because... <laughs> yeah, again, because of where Agrias is, this guy cannot magic break us. Has to magic break her instead. And as long as she uses her turn to retreat, we should be able to protect her at this point, I think. I hope. I pray. <laughs> I can't just shoot on her. Yeah, I'll just shoot on her for 64. Nice little Mastadia. But this is going to give her protect, I do believe. Maybe it gives her wall, does it? Wall being uh, protect and shell. Yeah, it does. Okay, so that's actually a decent enough reaction for more tanky setups. Because that's going to reduce all incoming damage by a third, basically. And if you have, say, defense up on top of that, then you're reducing it by another third. Which is pretty good. Pretty good. I don't think they can do 92 to Agrios just yet. I hope. Not before I can do something about it, at least. Here comes a threat in... Mount. Ooh, this is getting kind of sketchy. I wasn't able to pick up Stigma Magic on uh, butts because I picked up uh, Earth Slash instead. So that could be very dangerous. Now there's a Paralyze. But Volanis can just 
Like, even if this hits, Volantis can kill. Theoretically. Man, we are getting crippled like nothing else. Like nothing else. At least Agrios is back. I'll say that. So we know where to, we know where to cast it. Okay, so here we go. Here we go. Now, more likely than not, we're going to get MP switched. In all honesty, that's... It's the most likely outcome. She had 70-something brave, right? So... If nothing else, this girl is almost spent. Oh, wow. We actually three-hit KO her after that barrier. Unless we get the proc. Haha. -ha. So now we two-hit KO her. At which point, finishing her off should be pretty trivial, I want to say. Just one more of those would do it. And we won't even need to proc or anything. The only real trick here is that I kind of wish Agrios was still don't act it because I'd like to try and go for crystals. They had some good stuff. Especially that talk skill stuff, man. If I could get If I could get that on maybe butts. I think he would really appreciate that because it would only increase his utility, right? Then he would not only be really good at supporting my own team. Wow, she actually didn't MP switch. That was that was a little lucky. I don't think it'll make a difference, though, to be honest, but... At any rate, if we can get, like, top skill on butts, he would be really good both defensively and also really good at crippling the enemy. I'll bet Agrias just kills her. She has a few different ways. Wow, MP switch, not a single time. That's pretty unlikely. Oh, that's uh, This girl is going to come at me now, though. Steel heart. Oh, man. Oh, man, really? <laughs> That's unfortunate, to say the least. Oh, man. Vlad is my G. She's not that cute. Come on. <sighs> well, I guess we're getting the hell away from him. And as long as we maintain this high ground, uh, they can't really do too much to me here. I think it's kind of an inevitability that we get this. So I am actually going to wait for the crystals, so give me a second. Okay, my G or... or hmm. See, I'd almost like to give it to Muffin just because... If Holy isn't in this crystal, then it makes more sense to give it to her. If it is, then it makes more sense to give it to my G. I'm going to roll these dice. I really want somebody else on offense. Please. Oh, please. God damn it. <laughs> I haven't had any kind of luck with these, really. You can pull some really good stuff, but it just hasn't happened, sadly. You still charmed? Yeah, you're still charmed, bud. We got to break that before you do something stupid. Treasure. Oh, my God. Trash. Actually, I'll at least go for that. Yeah, you know, at least go for the treasure box that the priest dropped, right? Because he, he had a mental spear. Maybe? Hey, there we go. So at least we got something out of this. God damn. <laughs> so I don't think you can buy those yet, actually. So that kind of works out. Maybe I can uh, break out the Lancer then. And because guns cannot miss unless you have the bullshit blade grasp ability, we are done. Yeah, I'd really like to see how that plays out in, like, in-universe. Do you think they just catch the bullets out of mid-air? Or what? Are you all right, Agrius? Ben better. Yes, I'm all right, but we must hurry. She's going to be executed at the Golgaron execution site. Let's hurry. Yes, let's go. And go we shall. Congratulations. Now, did we get anything good for this one? Because I honestly can't remember. Coral Sword Flame Shield, Rubber Shoes pretty decent and Agrios is now finally playable we are gonna get her we're gonna get her for sure she has like special like special dialogue on the next map and I'll probably bring her for that and that alone but shoot do we want to keep going hmm nah you know what let's keep going let's keep going so we're gonna pick up steel weapon now for Valanis that's gonna be our first steel that we're gonna buy here uh we do want to get this though because on the next map there is going to be a good sword that we can steal. Now, I, I, don't, I don't really know how much Agrios is being used. I'm going to be perfectly honest. 
She's not horrible or anything, but to, to go back to that whole man-woman strength difference, right? So for some reason, Agri has, has terrible strength. And I, I understand why it's like that. It Like, that's not the issue, but... It's a fantasy game. Just give the woman a decent strength growth. God damn. Because her entire skill set is predicated on the fact that she's able to do some decent damage without having to boost her strength through the roof because she needs the equipment slots for other things, basically. So she can't be like... How should I put it? She can't really be all that special just because the amount of setup it takes to get her anywhere even remotely halfway decent with her base skill set of Holy Knight, it, it takes a lot of work because she needs to be... I mean, really, I say need, but it is very much a need in this case. She almost needs to be a Geomancer because that's the only option that's going to give her enough attack boosting stuff to make up for the fact that her strength is garbage. <laughs> And I think that, honestly, her Holy Knight strength was even nerfed for some reason compared to the original game, and I don't understand that at all. I don't, because she is already the worst sword skiller. She already was. Well, mm, there was arguably one in the original game who might have been worse, but in this, she most certainly is the worst one, without any kind of question. The only real cool thing about her is that she comes with a lot of skills for Bree. I guess she does keep Crush Punch and Lightning Stab, so that's cool. But she's, she's still the worst. She's probably the worst generic in the- not generic, she's probably the worst special unit in the game. With maybe one other- one other might take the cake. I'm not entirely sure. I haven't decided on how I feel about her. Y you know, no, I will say that Agrias is only the second worst one. Which is a shame because I like Agrias and all that, but she's- she's really just not that good. Honestly, you could even argue that Squire is a better class than Holy Knight because Squires have a better equipment draw. Which helps a lot, actually. The equipment in this game is where you're getting most of your stats. Honestly, leveling up doesn't do too, too much for you. Uh, un unless you... Unless you really power level. And the original game did have other tricks that make that a little bit better, too. Like the degenerator traps. Uh, where you would level up to max level in a class with really good growth rates. Then hit a degenerator trap in a class with really bad growth rates. That way you would get really good bonuses when you level up but take really small penalties when you get leveled back down. So that way you can sort of infinitely increase your stats if you really got into it. But you just kind of have to deal with the fact that a character like Agrias, for example, is not going to have the best strength. Now there is one other character that they sort of invoke the whole low strength growth thing for later on in the game, and I almost kind of like it in that case. Because he is ungodly powerful if you still manage to get him at a low enough level, train him in a good class, and then switch him back to his sword skilling class. But Agrias doesn't really have that luxury. Like I say, she pretty much needs to be a Geomancer because there's enough strength boosting gear. She really wants attack up because her her sword skills still don't do that much damage. They just do base damage. Or at least all the AoE ones just do base damage. So it would be no better than going for an attack command. It's just that they can hit multiple tiles and can inflict status effects, right? They can proc stop, they can proc dead, which is really nice. Death sentence, silence, confusion. She's got some good statuses, but it costs MP, and until late into the third act, she's actually gonna be worse, I would say, damage-wise and range-wise, compared to a Geomancer, who can cast their spells instantly for no MP. So bottom line, her sword skills are really not all that. Geos even get better statuses, arguably. Albeit dependent on terrain, and unlike the original game, they are now evadable, so if you give her attack up, and you happen to run into, say, an enemy ninja or something like that, or an enemy with the abandoned skill, which doubles your evasion, man, she's just gonna have a horrible time because she wants both attack up and concentrate. Whereas if she would have just had even standard male physical growth, she would be fine, basically. Because then it would almost be kind of a choice, you'd be choosing between high damage Agrias or reliable Agrias. But the way it is, you're just choosing between acceptable damage Agrias and Agrias that can't miss. It's not the same choice. Besides, if we're really going to get into it, it's like, this is a fantasy game, man. I don't, <laughs> like, if I got stabbed with a sword, I don't think the thing between your legs is going to determine how much that hurts, <laughs> in all honesty. Not by that much. Gosh, she hits like a wet tissue paper. 
And it's just she's like a trained holy knight, you could just say she has really high skill compared to these scrubs. You know, you could say she's so skilled with a sword that it's almost as effective as if she were just this gigantic hulking monster. And that would be believable. Look, in real life are there differences between men and women, physical or otherwise? Of course. That does not mean better or worse. <laughs> but, in this game, it does mean worse for Agrias. She was entirely reliant on the fact that she can deal physical damage. And I think my biggest issue with it all is that she's just not that fun to use because of all these issues. You know who is fun to use? Tifa. You know who is fun to use? Freya. And you know what they have in common? A decent goddamn strength stat. I understand that they were going for realism, okay? But come on, man, it's just a game. Just let her be good. Give her a strength growth, please. Okay, real talk, so, uh... I looked it up just to make sure I wasn't dug out of my ass, right? And okay, so it's not her growth rates that are the issue, it's actually her base stats. Why does she have... Why does she have female base stats? That's what I don't get. The real kicker is that there's no less than two girls that already come with male base stats, so... Why is she so bad then? <laughs> if you can change that sort of thing, why not do it? Uh, I do want to still bring her on this next map though, because she has some special dialogue. There's enough going on that I feel like the extra move could help. But again, that's just gonna cut into her offense so much. Like, it bears repeating, she has five attack. Five. Agrias the Holy Knight has five attack. Five. <laughs> oh yeah, she also lost... <laughs> I just realized this, but she also lost the damn... The, uh, the priest and the wizard skill set. Why? Why would they take that? Let's just... Let's just try. <laughs> let's just try, honestly. Now, the fortunate thing is that... Most bosses in this game, as a matter of fact, are Virg- Oh, wait, spoilers. Uh, <laughs> well, you'll see it in like two seconds, but spoiler alert, the boss of this map is a Virgo. So we can do like this. We want Muffin in the back. We want to protect her with two tankier guys. I left my G as a squire for this exact reason. So I guess we can try this. From where Belanus is, I'm really hoping that he can just run up on the boss immediately. <laughs> now, as I was starting to say, the boss here will have the Virgo sign, which is going to let Belanus potentially have a good shot of stealing his weapon. I think it will be about a 50-50 shot. If we nail it, great, but I want to steal the weapon regardless. Any last words? No. I see. Huh? <gasps> the enemy! <laughs> I knew that would be appropriate sometime. That's far enough. Return the princess now. <laughs> you fell into a trap! Huh? Guess who? Alright, so that's a new class there, actually. They're called Quick Change Artists, and <laughs> their ability is the fact that they can instantly remove all of their clothing. You're still too naive, kid. Where's the princess? And Lionel Castle, where's the stone? Stone? Stop playing dumb! The stone you stole from the Cardinal. You're with the one who stole it. Just hand it over. If you want it, you'll have to take it. Hmm, seems you matured a bit. Then I will! So yeah, the game actually constantly gives my G crap for being so naive, and that's something that I can appreciate. Because he is, like, make no mistake, he's definitely a naive kid in a lot of ways. His heart's in the right place, don't get me wrong, but... Okay, sweet, so we have a good shot here. And I think this is my move no matter what, because disabling Gavgarion would be so huge. It's just automatically so huge, because if I steal his sword, he can no longer use his Dark Sword abilities. And also, this is just a good item to steal in general, and he does always have this. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but even in the original game, he always had a Blood Sword, right? It's been a while, but I, I think that he does. And we want to steal that because if, well for one, if Agrios is ever doing anything, we want some kind of decent weapon that can be boosted. And the Blood Sword would qualify. It has 10 attack normally, but that would be 15. Oh, look at this. Almost a 70% chance to disable Gaffirion completely, and we get it. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Now, one neat thing that we're not going to be seeing about the Blood Sword is the fact that it drains health on contact. But, it will reverse on Undead. So let's say, let's say I was doing 50 damage or whatever, when I hit somebody with the blood sword, I get 50 health. 
But if it's on an undead unit, the exact opposite happens. If I hit them with the blood sword, I lose 50 health. So keep that in mind. It's not too late. Let's go back to Igros. What happened to my sword? <laughs> Your brother Dysonar said he'd forgive you. Come on, wake up. No, I won't be involved in any more wrongdoing. Wrongdoing? What do you mean by that? You are a bail. You have a mission to accomplish. Wrongdoing indeed. It's your mission. Don't be such a fool. My brothers are making war for personal reasons. What else can you call it other than evil? You must make sacrifices to accomplish anything. Without sacrifice, there's no progress, no history. Look at Ivalice. Corrupt. Someone must change it. Your brothers are trying to do that, even if it means wrongdoing. I love this game. <laughs> I really do. So all he can do here is go for a charm. Please don't get it. Okay, good. That's going to help. Yeah, so annoyingly, they uh, they realize that stealing Gavgarion's weapon or breaking his weapon is a very good way to cripple him. And in this uh, in this hack, they've given him steel as well, which really complements... Uh, it, it rounds out his skill set, basically. In a very uh, dangerous way, I would say. Yeah, here comes a wave fist, no doubt. Dodge, dodge, dodge. <laughs> dodge. Oh my god, everything's coming up Deltre. Everything is coming up Deltre. So I was kind of counting on Bolanus to go down. We could have picked up... Oh no. Oh no, 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 not this, not this. Miss. Please miss her, please miss her, please miss her. Okay, good. Phew. <laughs> that would have been really awful. That's something I didn't consider. I didn't remember that these guys had talk skills. I didn't remember that part. I, I lost my train of thought. I'm so sorry about that. I was going to say something, and I feel like it did actually matter. Uh, hmm. Well, <laughs> we got the dodges anyways. Uh, had I known that... Goodbye, by the way, Valanus. Had I known that they had talk skill like that, I would have moved over to the... I guess it would be the right side from our current perspective. I would have moved over there instead, because then I would have been out of range for that. I didn't realize their AoE for that would have been so nice. However, all we really needed there was for Muffin to dodge, because that's going to let me drop some of these guys. As we can see, uh, just eyeballing it, they really don't have the greatest health in the world. Agrias can also revive, and she should be able to hold out for a little bit. So I guess we're going to see. That doesn't mean I should leave her stranded. Also, this map theme is so kick-ass. I love it every time this one plays, dude. Every single time. It is... What, which one is this? Is it Antipyretic? I can't remember. I, I, I know some of the names of the soundtrack. A good number of them, but... Forget about Fort Zeekton. It couldn't be helped. You're a bail. You have a given duty. It's your fate. It's fate that let Tita die. No, that's wrong. I saw her in that last cutscene a few moments ago. <laughs> we killed her out of convenience. Yes, us. I've run from the truth long enough. I killed her. Uh, we're not we're not done here though. Is it better to pick butts up? Five five. I I didn't really check their skills because they were getting the first move anyways. But looks like attack up silver bows. <laughs> More equipped spear, ladies. I don't understand that. I don't understand the game's fascination with that. I really don't. Oh, is that right? Does that does that boost? Talk skill? I didn't know that. I take it the monster talk boosts the like boosts the accuracy of talk skill or something. Now if I have some luck, Agrias might be able to come through. Now these guys, or these girls rather, are gonna be very, very deadly. White magic, so that could mean a holy. And black magic, so that almost assuredly means a Mjolnir. And they both have short charge, however, I should have switched him back to the crossbow though, because I don't have any real damaging moves here. Like damaging spells, that is. We can do that. Oh, he can't jump that high. Oh, oh, perspective. <laughs> so, tell me from here it doesn't look like I can reach, though. Oh, my God. I did it to myself, though, really. I can't I can't say anything about that, honestly. I'm 100% sure the Leviathan will carry me on that. Yeah, it definitely will. All that's going to happen is the priests are going to go, then Agrias, who finally gets a turn. Dead dead. Yeah, they, they need to die, though. Now, unfortunately, I've kind of realized that I put myself in a position to have to move. I didn't really realize that there would be that height differential like that. Oh, she has teleports. So they're probably going to focus down Agrias, in all honesty. But... 
if nothing else, we can maybe get a two for one trade. Like, they have to use two turns to kill her, is kind of what I'm getting at. So, in theory, we can have them do that. Interesting that they would go for the Holy Strike. I guess Confused would still be pretty terrible for me, no lie, but I would have thought. I would have thought they would have just done anything else, to be honest, just to save the MP. My G, are you really a Beowulf? Didn't you know, Agrios? His name is My G Beowulf. What's the, what's the G stand for? One of the Beowulf family. It's true, I'm a Beowulf, but I'm not like my brothers. I never knew about kidnapping the princess, I swear it. No doubt in my way. <laughs> no doubt in my mind. <laughs> yeah, that's what Agrius sounded like. No doubt in my mind. I believe you. I think she has some more if we manage to keep her alive that long, but I'm not counting on it. It's po oh, that's a dark holy. Oh no. Oh baby, no. And you can see my huge beef with Agrius though, right? Because this is pathetic damage. Pathetic. Oh, uh, Gaff Garion is immune to dead. I take it. Oh, and that's one thing about her sword skills, though. She can't hit herself with them. So despite the fact that she will definitely try to kill you, the player, she will not... Uh, she'll never end up hitting herself. I could throw her in the middle of these two guys, for example, throughout her sword skill, and it would work. What I do want to do, though... Uh, I want to lightning stab, and then I will... I'll move her second, basically, because I want to get her closer to the rest of my guys so that we could potentially revive her when it's no doubt going to be necessary here in a turn or two. Uh, lightning stab hit. Let's get a silence. Oh, we got a silence on the dang monk, man. Oh, that could be better, because I do actually have soft. And that will preserve some of her CT, I want to say. But more importantly, it preserves her health. And that's what's so nice about that. So now we can kill two of these monks. Theoretically. Yeah, there we go. Now this Dark Holy is totally wasted. <laughs> awesome. We don't even get to see the animation though, which that part is a little bit disappointing. It's a nice little uh, spell there. This is my way. We do that. She's still going to be slower than the rest of these guys. They will all move. However, right here. Why did I not haste? <laughs> what? Am I new? That was a three piece. Why did I yell? <laughs> Don't worry, I am offended for you. So that made me mad, but... <laughs> but, the beautiful part about Agrias being petrified is that, unlike death, there is no chance that she crystallizes or anything like that. Oh no, that was not the... <sighs> that wasn't how we do it. She has to wait. I can't move her, there's no way. This is ridiculous. One girl has died, so what? We must first think about justice. For justice! <laughs> I'm sorry. There's no justice in using and deceiving people. I can't ignore people dying for justice. I'll save Princess Ovelia. Stubborn kid. Gaff Garion shouldn't be too much of a threat, though. He can't even go for a charm because we're out of range. What is this? A guilt toss. Yeah, that's, that's his best move at this point. I... Why did I not go for dang old... Oh, could she jump up all the way up there? Oh, yes, she can. So they can take pot shots. She would be back to full at this point because of the chakra, assuming that she survived the first round like she did. Uh, this... He's gonna heal himself. Good. Good. That burns a turn, which is what we need right now. We just need to stall a little bit. Also, as a secondary bonus, that Dark Hole... That Dark Holies should have still spent a lot of MP from that... Uh, not Summoner, but Time Mage. Now, she can't jump onto Muffin. She can't. Because she didn't have the time. And my G is still fairly tanky. And we should actually be so far away that all she can really do is, like, haste or something? No, she actually does not. Rachel, on the other hand, could be a threat. But instead, she's gonna choose to heal herself. Which is good for me. And we have more than enough time to pick up Volanis. Now, had I hasted myself, man, this would be over, I think. This would be over, but you can see just how dangerous this map actually is because it's a seven on, it's like a seven on five or whatever. Ideally, I would be here because that keeps us the hell away from those time mages, which are the biggest threat. Yeah, we'll do this. Those two are definitely the biggest threat and this is gonna kill one time mage. 
Should kill the monk. And it'll do half to Gappy. So this is our way, I think. Now, unfortunately, if I want to hit that archer on top of the guillotine, I will have to target her separately because of the height tolerance. Don't ask me how that works when Leviathan literally floods the entire battlefield, but whatever. In fact, that should just be a map attack if we're keeping it a buck, but hey. Honestly, butts in my G can kill her, I'm so sure. Scorpio is even going to be best with... Oh yeah, we can, we can do that. That's how we get stuff done. Butt should be able to hit her side. This is our way. We can drop her as well. And we're evening this out a little bit, but... Oh, she has Dragon Spirit, but I had to go for that at that point. This will kill, though, because it's best compatibility. Yeah, goodbye. No! <laughs> okay. Well, truth be told, if I fail, it's honestly my own fault for not, for not just being more careful with that haste. I should have been able to haste three of these guys, which should have given us enough turn advantage to basically win. Now, she has Ignore Height, doesn't she? That's what's going on. <laughs> I should have checked that more carefully. Dodge. <laughs> Man. That's not looking too good. That was a huge misplay. Well, we get the guard at least. Aha, yes. This time age is totally spent. So, although we've misplayed, that doesn't mean we're out just yet. We're definitely not. She missed. Which, in all honesty, was the likeliest possible outcome. We need to get this turn advantage back. We need to. And I have to pick Bellanus as well. They will more likely than not just redrop him, but we need to oh, we need to regain some ground here. Without a doubt. Man, why didn't I do this the first time? <laughs> this is one of those brain fart things, man. Happens to everybody. Happens to everybody, man. There's no shame in that, I don't think, but it is Well well, the only shame is that now I'm in a much worse position. Although that was pretty fortunate. And that was a good counter throw as well. So Agrias didn't do a damn thing. Ah, she's back. She's back. But I think that we can actually manipulate it in such a way that we can pick up Muffin without her losing her turn because of the haste. Now this will hit probably. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. That can't happen. And we have no evade from behind either. Mm. This might be a wrap. Without, like, significant luck. Oh, wow. I'm not going to deny that. That's incredibly lucky. That's incredibly lucky. I mean, she would get a turn. Does she have... Oh, right. We bought her spirit search. So maybe... Yeah, never mind. Never mind. That's what we do. Yeah, we just pick up Muffin. Again, and Virgo to Scorpio shouldn't be bad. No, hell no, it's not. So that's what we're doing. So Guts, Wish, let's go. We do this, and then I can use a Spirit Surge on this round. Still kill something. Yeah, yeah. My biggest issue was that I can't... Unless I have Aether by chance, which I don't. I didn't think I did. But the issue was that I couldn't, of course... Uh, I couldn't pick her up and give her enough MP for a Leviathan, basically. Now, we killed her before, so we stood... Oh my gosh, this lady is crazy. She's unbeatable. <laughs> Not like I can really talk, though. Considering how many dodges I've got just to stay in the game this long. Yeah, that's a little bit too far. I think this is the best thing I can do, though. No, we don't want to move too far. Which would be pretty bad, <laughs> to say the least. But I think this is a fine move. Had I realized that... Uh, had I realized that we could so easily take out this equipped spear archer with the spear surge and all, I would have done something else with butts. Honestly, I probably would have tried to drop the other time age, but I didn't realize that this would be a kill. That is one sort of, I don't want to say annoying necessarily, but it is one thing about the whole faith system. Because magic damage can vary wildly from target to target. Whereas physical damage really only cares about how strong you are, basically. So there goes a the green beret, but we have plenty of those. Plenty of those. Of course, my G might get dropped. No, they're going to go for Muffin, which is fine. She already did her job for this turn anyways. 
Of course, I imagine they can still destroy my G when she comes back, inevitably. Oh, what timing! What horrible timing! Oh, no! Oh, no. I can continue to retreat, but I can only do so much because that... Yeah, that archer has the high ground. <laughs> and you can see how much of a problem that actually is. Now, this girl does not have any MP left. She can't be any sort of threat. The only thing she really did there... Oh, oh, what did I just say? I said you can't be a threat, so stop. <laughs> stop being a threat. <laughs> oh, no. We're gonna die, huh? <laughs> but I think this is a good demonstration of the fact that you really don't want to try to go blow for blow with the enemy. Not for too long. Now, will Gaff Gary on run? Because that could keep us in it. He does. Damn it! I didn't expect you to be this strong. Retreat for now. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, God, maybe. Just maybe. Yep, and there it is. Ah. I think this can work, though. I think that this setup can work. Which I guess is the bigger issue here, right? And actually, let's go with the rubber shoes now. Okay, so now, as for the rubber shoes, the reason that I feel like that might help us out here is because of the way that the AI uses teleport. First of all, are we going to get this steel or what? Because if we can't, then I think... <laughs> I don't know how good this will be without this steel. Hey, we got it. Sick. It is pretty likely, to be fair. About a 70% shot. Uh, I almost kind of want to turn my back to these guys so that they will dog Pavelanis over any other move they could make. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Now, as I was starting to say, though... The way that teleport works with the AI, okay, they will never teleport outside of their natural range. So, keeping that in mind, the only real way that the time mage uh, up top could potentially try and interrupt... God damn it, Agrias, he's not even cute. He's like 70 years old. Come on now. <laughs> the only way that the AI could interrupt me, though, is if they hit me with a chain lightning don't act oh my gosh that's unfortunate well we can just keep him in place in that case and then stigma magic but that is going to cost us to haste and they're spreading themselves out very much so very much so now i don't think this guy can reach me yeah he can't that's what i thought that's what we were going for he can however reach Volanus with an insult i wouldn't mind that Oh, I was, like I said, I really wouldn't mind that because uh, Volanus with 6 range having increased damage? Oh man, that would be sick. So the whole thing where we turned our backs to them seems to be working a little bit. A little bit, but I don't know how long that's really going to hold true. He's holding out though. I, I, I gotta give him that. He's holding on. Okay, so my G, just, just hang tight. Let's clear that as well with Stigma Magic. Which shouldn't clear- yeah, yeah, yeah. So that turned out to be a good purchase then. Because that's gonna keep us... Uh, it's gonna keep us ahead of them, basically. And my G still gets a turn eventually. Yeah, we wanna move here. And now, if you'll notice, the way that this chick started, I think I was starting to say... She's only gonna move three tiles despite having teleport. Because the AI doesn't like to chance that ever. So she can go one, two, three... Or like one, two, three, or something, and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which would have hit me with chain lightning. But, <laughs> but we don't know if she has that. First of all, and if she did, rubber shoes would cancel that. Ha! <laughs> so that, that's pretty cool. I, I'm surprised that that came in handy so soon. And this would be the spot for a potential three piece. Which, truth be told, doesn't do as much as you might think because at this point. We're basically just breaking even with these guys. We lost Agrios. And they have a boss character on top of that. So really, it's still like 5 on 4. It's still like 5 on 4, even if this goes through. I would consider Gap Gary on a boss type character. Now, we did disable him. We did disable him early on. But of course, that was part of the plan, right? You've got to have a good way around that. Otherwise, he can really wreck you. But... Regardless, right? We don't want to lose her for no reason. And had he been able to drop her, that would have meant making the choice between restoring my G or 
uh, picking Muffin back up. And we need her to get this first turn, I'm so sure. We need to clear some of them. Looks like we got all three, which is great. Now, another thing that would be kind of nice here would be Arrow Guard. Because truthfully, I want to say that that Archer Chick is the biggest issue, right? With her jumping up to the high ground like that. I mean, I think we've all seen how that goes, right? Never let them take the high ground. Oh, that monk actually lived. That's unlucky. However, he's just going to run. Yeah, let's get aboard the haste train. It's the smartest thing we can do. So we move about. Mm, I, I really want to stay the hell away from those time mages, though. They're definitely the scariest enemies here. Uh, we move there. Everybody can catch this haste, potentially. And this is actually going to keep Muffin outside uh, range to be dropped by that monk. So they're going to have to use at least two attacks if they want to try that. And if she gets hasted, she might actually get this action off first, which would be pretty nice. Wasn't really counting on Butts dodging that. Or, I mean, I wasn't counting on him getting hit because, of course, he does have very poor faith. Now what's Amy going to do? I'd almost like to move her in for a chain lightning, but it doesn't look like that'll happen. I guess he's just going to keep throwing out haste. Yeah. <laughs> Truth be told, though, compared to her trying to kill me, that's not so bad. That's not so bad. Is there somewhere I can move where this monk can't really catch me? I genuinely think that she is doomed no matter what. <laughs> But the good news is that my G can interrupt that. Well, not interrupt it, but he can instantly revive her, basically. And right now, all we can hope to do is wait for Agrias to become uncharmed. I can't believe that went through. Oh, they're going to break it? Oh, no, she's going to lose her armor. Of course. Of course. <laughs> Why not? Now she can be dropped by a Dark Holy. Oh, what are they doing? Oh, healing. Okay. Okay. That's not actually that bad. I think they all missed their turn regardless. Now this guy can get me, but it would have been much worse for them to double target Muffin. Because she has her MP back. And yeah, we give him a nice spin fist, but... Oh, nice crit, by the way. Or does he just... He might have compatibility or something, I don't know. But... But they shouldn't be able to cut us off from basically getting another Leviathan on that group right there. And at that point, no, they can't. Sweet. Sweet, unless Pato here does something crazy. Which maybe he does, but he's so low still, even after that potion, that we can take him out without the help of Leviathan. And no, they're all going to bunch up like that. Great. Great. Now, they can't hit butts, or Agrias can hit butts, I should say, but he won't die either. Oh, I could have moved over there, though. I just remember... Yeah, the, the dang old rubber shoes. Hello. They could have never dropped Muffin. Never in a million years. Now, it looks really bad, but assuming we hit Leviathan, we can instantly drop everybody that just came back. And also, so much more. Yeah, see, if I would have moved there, that would have been almost better in a way, but I don't necessarily know that I still would have got the turn, so it's hard to say. It really is. I do know, though, that this is our only move. <laughs> this right here is the only way. And she has, like, piss-poor faith and worse compatibility. Are you kidding? She must. Oh, because, she, yeah, she's the Virgo. So, yeah, Pisces is actually worst possible compatibility. So, even though we got a little bit lucky the first time, you can see that it's not holding true for this run. That's for sure. But if I just merely pick up Alanis right now, which we should have good on him, or at the very least neutral, you have a 94% shot. And if I do this, and it goes through as it does, I can shoot her. I can shoot her because she will survive. That one archer will survive. Regardless of any RNG shenanigans. We can always miss too as well. A lot of these guys do have 10 percenters to dodge. But Valana should be able to pick up any kind of straggler here with concentrate. Triple. Nice. So she has CT save, but we're still going first, I assure you. Yep. And this should be her life right now. As it is. Okay. Now, this is what we wanted to see. Of course, there is still this one monk. But he is just that, right? One monk. Oh my god, it's actually 8 on 5, isn't it? I just realized. Yeah, I just fully processed that. It's actually 8 on 5. Almost 9 on 5 if you want to count Gavgarion. So yeah, this map is no joke. 
This is no joke. This is not like a Fire Emblem game where your units are so incredibly better than anything the enemy can do. No, no, no. They're at least as good as you. Yeah, if I chakra one more time, we can stay out of range of the Spin Fist. So let's move over here. Let's move over here and away from Amy. <laughs> oh, she can lightning me though. Damn. Maybe. No, I guess she won't because I'm... I, I don't know why she won't, but she won't, and that's what matters. Yeah, it probably would have been better if she had the right... I mean, in terms of the AI killing me, I think it would have been smarter for her to go for the uh, the chain lightning on Volanis. Maybe they figured that the other time mage can pick her up, though, and that's, that's probably what's going to happen. Now, the really nice thing about Chakra as well is that since it always targets himself... Uh, since Butts always hits himself with it, that is. No, stop. Okay. Since he always hits himself with that, though, it's, it's easy for him to keep himself topped off. And this girl is spent. She has, like, an explosion in her, maybe. Or a spirit surge, I guess, in this case. Now, Guilt Toss takes me out. I don't think I could have avoided... Well, maybe I could have. I probably should have attempted to avoid that more carefully. But if Agrios would just stop thinking with the wrong head... I... That, that doesn't make sense, does it? <laughs> if she would stop thinking with whatever she's thinking with, this would be a lot better. <laughs> That's for sure. Now, this guy's probably just going to try to re-raise himself again because the AI really likes to do that when it's low on health like that. Okay, so if we just kill him last then, I guess, which is perfectly fine, I would rather get crystals on literally every other enemy. This guy is good, don't get me wrong, but not game-changing. Uh-oh. She can get it off. Dodge, dodge, dodge. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> I want Gap Gary on gone. Outright, he's gotta go. There goes Charm, so I guess... Okay, I was gonna break Charm with my G, but I don't have to. And in the event that she's coming back like that anyways, as she does, it doesn't matter too much that we dodged, because she was about to get a turn right then. Uh, I was thinking about maybe even throwing a Don't Move Her Way. But since we just saw the haste expired, let's just reapply that. Now, can I can I reach her with a lightning stab? Either way, we can start working on these ladies. Does it? What about stasis sword? Yeah, I can hit her with a stasis sword at least. Yeah, we want her lower, if anything. S stop? No, no stop. But that's perfectly fine. Now, unless we miss one of these two clowns. Got the monk, got Gab Gary on, they're both out of here. Oh, yeah. That's more like it. That is way more like it. We got this one in the bag, I want to say, because Gaffy's going to teleport out of here. He's low enough. Isn't he? Oh, no, he's not low enough. Oh, my gosh. Or something, or maybe it's just... Maybe he's going to leave after everything's resolved. Yeah, he... Mm, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm really not sure. Okay, yeah, I guess he was just waiting for everything to resolve. Because you don't have to kill him. You just have to get him into critical, as you can see, very plainly. Now, here could come a very nasty attack. Chain lightning. Yeah. There goes my G, but at least, at least Butt survives. And we got haste on everybody. Oh my god, my G's a beast. Never mind. Never mind. Did I say he was going to die? Apparently not. And with that, in all honesty, 24, 63. Yeah, we're going to Chakra. We're going to Chakra, and that should seal the deal. That should more or less seal the deal. We even have enough for one more good Leviathan. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Drop these two chicks. And then all that is left is the re-raised monk. Who I might throw a don't move to with my G. Just so that we can safely grab all, all of these potential crystals. Because that's seven potential... Well, six potential crystals, right? Uh, Gaff Garion will never drop one because he runs. And you can't... Like, obviously, you can't get the last guy as a crystal either. Because once you kill him, the map ends. But... We can do uh, almost as good, I want to say. We can get up to six. And now all I really want to do is again... Oh my gosh, don't berserk me. Because he'll kill him. Yeah, stop. So what we want to do is try to stick don't move on him. And if we can, 
then it's basically a wrap. Ah, 77. That's pretty good. Now we just gotta don't move him. And the real nice part is that those, uh... Those time mages came right to me. So I can just steal their crystals without having to go up all the like all the way up the wall or anything like that. So there's black magic on you, white magic on you. Ooh, there's Catherine. Yeah, I should have seen that coming. I don't know why I didn't. Yep. <laughs> I was trying to read. Don't move him. Ooh, Pato as well. So there's one monk, one. This was the yeah, that was the monk right there. So we can grab you with butts. Let's see some good stuff. Head break, weapon break, speed room, power room, mind room. No monk skills, though. Very strange. Wow. Okay, so that guy might kill somebody, but whatever. We can just don't move him again. No big deal. And he might not, either. No! No! Oh! 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 Thank God I got a horrible roll. I thought he was really gonna do it. Oh, my God. Why is the AI so suicidal? Just lock this guy in place. Jeez. So, like, this is the only... I won't say it's the only use for Domu, but I think this is the most use I get out of it, to be perfectly honest. Got some headgear. I guess we did pick up counter for butts, though, and that's pretty good. Uh, definitely want to get some abilities here. Temporal Strike and CT save. Not awful, but not great. Why? Why are they so tempted to try and screw me at every opportunity? Because he would have just got himself killed had that landed, and Butts would have just punched him. Now, you're the black magic lady. Which isn't as good, honestly. White magic would have been better. Maybe. It, it, it depends if there's even a crystal at all. Which it is. And I want to say my G has basically all the black magic that he really needs. Like, these are the big three that are most important. Like, Dark Holy wouldn't hurt. Yeah, what am I saying? Dark Holy wouldn't hurt at all. Dark Holy wouldn't hurt at all. Let's go for it. Oh, yes! Finally! Finally! God damn! <laughs> there! I got a decent crystal for once. Sick! And Meltdown It's pretty good in the late game as well. Oh, <laughs> that's what I needed. My god, it's never taken me so long to pull that off. We'll have to see that when we see that. For now, I'm going to call it right there. <laughs> Good game. We must go to Lionel Castle immediately. Couldn't have said it better myself, my G. Oh, my God. That one's so hard. Like, it's so very, very hard. Oh, there's the red shoes, though. And those are fire boosters. So, at this point, it may be intelligent to buy... The dang lava bulb. Yeah. It's a good weapon at this point. And also, there's a... Fire Sword as well, that, that can be very useful for, for Agrias. But I think the Blood Sword is better, honestly. Aren't you eating? You can't go on without food. Dot, dot, dot. No one will mourn your death. In fact, it should make most people happy. You won't die, just eat the food. I knew you were in with the Cardinal. If you aren't turning me over to Larg, what's your plan? Taking you somewhere you belong, that's all. So, you're using me too. But you can't make me do whatever you want. You have no other choice if you want to live. What's that mean? It means... Well, uh, yeah, but they do indeed have her. Gotta pick up the base, my G. So, she is Ovelia. How are you, princess? If you'd behaved, you wouldn't be here now. Hmm. She's almost too good a substitute for a princess. <laughs> Mr. Vormav, she doesn't know yet. I see. Poor girl. What are you talking about? Listen carefully. You are not Ovelia. What? The real princess died long ago. You're a substitute. No, that's a lie. It's not a lie. You are not Ovelia. Old senators who didn't care for Princess Luveria made you. So someday you'd succeed the throne, ousting the princess. They killed two older princes, making it look like an illness. And they adopted you as princess. They all thought Orma 
They all thought Amdalia was too weak to make another son, so you took the throne. However, Ornus was born. Even now, no one's sure if the prince is really his son. Larg may have had seeds planted to make his sister the king's mother. In any case, the old men's plan was ruined. Liar, I don't believe it. Think what you will. Whether you're a princess or not doesn't matter to us. What matters is that we have an ace of our sleeve called a princess. What are you gonna do with me? What do you want? Nothing. Just be a princess as you are now. My ancestors were... <laughs> I, I have no idea, man. I have no idea, man. I should I should read more into the bar stuff. Because if you will remember, <laughs> some of this stuff actually... Uh, some of the stuff they're talking about right now is actually foreshadowed in the bar section. Through the rumor section in particular. Like I said, it doesn't really make a big difference on your understanding of this game, right? I'm pretty sure that even if you forgot the fact that this stuff was mentioned before, everybody understood what just happened, right? <laughs> Basically, everybody in this universe is an asshole because everybody is plotting to usurp power from one another. That's basically the gist of this scene. She's always been intended to be a figurehead, more or less. Uh, somebody who would take power away from the previous king, seeing as to how he was not able to bear a son. Or so they thought, but it turned out that he was able to have a child in his last days. And because nobody's really sure if the previous king's son is even legitimate, Ovelia still is going to be the... She, she's basically going to be the inheritor of all power. And whoever can control her, controls the world, basically. Then what? If Larg catches you, he'll kill you, right? And that's why, that's why Larg is trying to kill her to begin with. Goltana as well, because uh, sh she's basically a free agent. She's, she's rogue, more or less. And they would much prefer to install somebody of their own, if not seize power for themselves, directly. We just want to help you take the throne. Who are you? We're neither allies of Larg nor supporters of Goltana. Just collaborators. Vormav, let her calm down. Once she comes to her senses, she won't refuse our help. Yes, you're right. Let's go, Delita. Heavy stuff, heavy stuff. But... That is going to do it for me, so thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. Next time we are going to more likely than not be finishing up Act 2 with our first real boss fight. Now, we had a boss fight right then, but oh, no, 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 no. We have, well, you'll see. <laughs> I guess we can just leave it at that. Anyways, thank you for watching. Hope that you all enjoyed. If you did, please consider leaving a like rating. Let me know your thoughts as well. And I'm always interested to hear, especially from people who have not played this game before. Because I know I've seen at least a few people say that this is their first time experiencing this game. So I, I would just really love to see what a first-timer's impression on this really is. Because for me, I think this game holds up, truth be told. But hey, that could have just been nostalgia talking. Anyways, catch you guys later. See you then. Peace.